again, it's my turn. <laughs> okay, the Supreme Court recently promulgated its decision, of course you, you know it, concerning the burial of President Marcos. The Supreme Court ruled that President Duterte did, acted within the bounds of laws and jurisprudence in allowing the internment of the former president in the libingan ng mga bayani. The question is, if you were a member of the Supreme Court, would you have dissented or concurred in its decision written by Justice Peralta? I will concur, Your Honor, because Dura Lex said Lex. The law is very clear. Republic Act, a Republic Act state that a president shall be buried. The president. There is no Republic Act, Manera. On what regulation or law did Justice Peralta of the Supreme Court and Bank base its decision? There was no law. Yung pension law po, yun lang pong pinagbabatayan ko, yung pension law. Kasi po yung libingan ng mga bayani nagawa based on the pension law. That so, is not the law. Uh, may I inform you what <laughs> was the regulation on which the decision was based it is Armed Forces of the Philippines Regulation Number G 161375. Okay. In, have you read that? Or did you, have you read the decision? Ay, hindi pa po. Nabasa ko lang po sa news. Dahil well, hindi naman po, hindi pa ako party doon sa ano, hindi pa ako kapag party. party, you are applying for the Supreme Court position, so you must be well read. Apo, this uh, pero, is a landmark decision, first of its kind, unique decision. So I'm, I'll tell you, just because I want to know your answer, whether or not you should have concord or dissented. Uh, Justice but, Peralta ruled that he is entitled to be entered into the living ng mga bayani because he was a president and he was a recipient of medals of Baylor. You know, under that regulation that I mentioned, it enumerates all the deceased entitled to be entered into the living ng mga bayani. Among them are presidents, secretaries of national defense, chief of his staffs, and so forth. But there are two exceptions. Number one, those members of the military who were dishonorably discharged or separated from the service. And number two, those convicted with crimes involving moral turpitude. According to the ponente, President Marcos does not belong to these two exceptions. Mm -hmm. Number one, he was not dishonorably discharged because he was president of the Philippines, not a member of the military. Mm -hmm. My God, member, commander-in-chief, and yet not a member of the judiciary. Number two, he was not convicted of a crime involving moral perpetuity. Now the dissenting, I will tell you so you can you can form your answer. Number one, he was dishonorably discharged by the people mm. during the Edsa Revolution. Mm. Number two, although he was not convicted of moral of crime involving moral turpitude, but he committed various crimes against the Filipino people, murder, torture, etc. Now, what is your answer? Um, the question is highly difficult because it's still pending, Your Honor, in the hands of the uh, Supreme Court and Bank. But I am, uh, I am asking you if you remember, would you have concurred or dissented? I have laid the facts in the ruling. Yes, ma'am. Uh, yes, ma'am. Uh, I think uh, if I will be one, I should make a thorough research before I decide. You know, on the basis of my explanation, you are very intelligent. Uh, yes, ma'am. But and you're uh, not yet. But you know, form your opinion whether or not you are dissenting or concurring. Yeah. A justice of the Supreme Court must be, you know, fast, speed, 
thinking. Yes, Your Honor. Um, um, it's thinking. In his or her thinking. Yes, Your Honor. But uh, courts are not only courts of law, but of equity. For me, it's time the nation should be healed. The, uh, the anti-Marcos, you know, Your Honor, why I lost my scholarship in Ateneo. I marched along EDSA every day with my professor, Jerry Hieronimo. I lost my scholarship. That's why I have a Do you believe that he was dishonorably discharged because of the will of the people during the EDSA revolution? Do you believe that? He the, was... He was dishonorably discharged. Your Being Honor, a commander in chief, he was a member of the military. That and he committed, you know, crimes involving moral turpitude. Don't you believe so? That is uh, a political question now, Your Honor. That is not political. Fact one. Okay, I leave you at that. So you are concurring.